ta. In fact, we can figure out the ratio. Let's consider time on the stationary clock compared to time on this moving clock. Well, that ratio is gonna be the ratio of the lengths. Then this would be given by D over L. More time on the stationary because it's longer distance on the moving clock. Well, this length over here, that's the same as this L over here, right? So we want D over L. Now you may have recall that in trigonometry, there's a name for L over D. Sine of theta, opposite is L, hypotenuse is D, right? And so this ratio is just one over sine of theta. So if we can figure out one over sine theta, we'll have our beautiful formula for the ratio of time and the station.